Today, I'm going to show you some leaks that I have found in the creator's sneak peek videos. And without more talking, let's jump into it right away and the first one will be about the Barbarian. So his abilities got completely replaced. Now his first ability will give him plus 1 damage and the second one will give him plus 0.3 hit speed and the last one plus 10 HP. And that means his abilities will just work like a buff for his statements. That was all for the Barbarian and the next one is the Knight. His main ability got reworked. Now instead of being like a circular shape, it will be like the shape of the Shield Maiden's ability. As well, when you upgrade him to the louder, he will completely cover the three lanes in front of him. And that's not all, his third ability got replaced as well by a new one, which will add two extra seconds for his mocking ability. That was all for the knight and the next one will be the guard. So his main ability got completely deleted and been replaced by his third ability, which is the clash. And just like that, the guard will no longer be having a super ability. He got a brand new ability as well and with that he will give shield to the nearest ally when his first shield up is broken as you are seeing it in here. So that was all for the guard and the next one will be the lumberjack. About him his second ability got replaced by a new one that will give the rage extra 20% heat and movement speed. The next one will be the bowler and you might not like this one because they are returning the clash ability to him. As you are looking in here, at the start of the game, he will throw a rock that will cover 4 tiles. And that's not all, his last ability obviously got replaced as well by a new one that will give the bowler plus 60% hit speed when he hits a mini with his clash ability. This ability will last for over 6 seconds and can be stacked up to 4 times. That was all for the bowler, the next one will be the swordsman and 2 of his abilities got replaced by new ones. The first one will give the swordsman 3 extra strikes with his ability and the second one will give him 30% heal after defeating Amini. His energy ability got reworked as well and he is going to get energy even with taking down the mini with normal attacks. That was all for the minis and now we are going to talk about the new tiles. And the first one is the battery tile which is going to give 7 energies to those minis that are on top of it. The second one is the ball tile and with that your minis can gain electro chain effect with their attacks. The electro hits will deal 2 damage and stun the enemies slightly. This effect can be triggered after a special amount of hits. The next one is this elixir tile and to be honest I am not sure what it is doing but in my opinion if you place down a mini on top of it you can sell it back. Next one is the healing tile and with it your minis can get HPs every 3 seconds through the entire round. The next one is the clone tile and it's basically working like the mirror. Finally the last one is the invisibility tile and it will make your minis invisible for over 6 seconds. So that was all that I have for today and subscribe if you don't want to miss any more leaks.